Not only that, all the scholars, the tutors, who taught us how to read, even Western education, or in any field you find yourself, all the tutors who taught us, as I come out, me also be worried, me I'm a minimal, May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive those who have gone among them. May Allah forgive them. May Allah uh, have mercy upon them. We must keep remembering them in our lives. They are the ones who made us to know the difference between the right and the left. We can't forget them in our life. You must uh, be remembering all what they have done to us in our lives. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward all of them. Amen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, grant them al jannah al firdaus Shew alimi Shew alimi rahimahullah ta'ala Shew Abu Bakr Akbar Duma Shew Abdullah Ibadandi Shew Abu Bakr Akiw Salah Shew Kamaluddin al-Adami Shew Adam Abdullah al-Aluri Shew Adam Abdullah al-Aluri Al-Shaykh Amen. So may Allah forgive all of them. There are many. They are uncountable. We can't count them all. Allah knows them all. Even uh, Adbaji. And say, uh, eh? And show Abu Haji. <laughs> Masha'Allah. May Allah forgive, forgive all of them. <laughs> Now may Allah forgive all of them because of the time. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to comfort those who are still alive among our scholars, our tutors. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this life easy for them. Our parents, those who are still alive among our parents. May Allah to May Allah be nice, be kind to them, as they were so kind to us when we are baby. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward all of them. For those who have gone among our, our parents, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, grant them al jannah to Firdaus. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala illa billahi la alihi la Alhamdulillah, we are welcome back to uh, our tafsir. Our tafsir, this year tafsir, Ramadan is 27 today, insha'Allah. 27, Ramadan is gradually coming to an end. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala count all of, all of us among the Muslims who witness the end of this year Ramadan. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us opportunity. May He grant us opportunity to witness many years in our life. Rijai Namina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and accept all our act of worship before, during, and after Ramadan. Bila hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi la alihi la azim. Now, our this year, 2024 uh, uh, tafsir, you know, the topic is dealing with 
a difficult time an Islamic perspective. That is our topic for this year, Tafsir. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen, we have said a lot about this topic. We have discussed, uh, we have told ourselves the meaning of this, uh, the meaning of difficulty according to Islam. We have stated, mentioned, uh, the prophets, some prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, starting from Prophet Adam, how they also faced a difficulty time in their lives. So we started from Prophet Adam, alayhi salatu wa salam. Then after Adam, we also mentioned Prophet Shit, Prophet Idris, Prophet Nu, Prophet Hud, Prophet Hud, Prophet Hud, alayhi salatu wa salam. Uh, our last uh, tafsir discussion was about Prophet Hud alayhi salatu wa salam. Yes, we, just, we are just trying to, you know, to point out their uh, they difficulty time, not to talk about their, uh, uh, their life completely, not to talk about their life generally. We are just trying to pick some points that we need from their life for us to learn from their life because the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said ashaddu nasi balaha al anbiya we keep we keep telling ourselves this are this we keep mentioning this are this to ourselves that ashaddu nasi balaha al anbiya thumma salihun thumma al amsal fal amsal so in any situation we find ourselves we shouldn't see it as if it's a new thing to us. The prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have also went through all these uh, trials, the hardship. So for us to know that the people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love most, yeah, they, uh, they, are, they are still what? Tested. Was tested by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They went through the trials, the persecutions. So, let me tell you that the difficulty is part of our life. There's no how someone will live in this life without going through difficulty time. So, difficulty is part of our life. Today, inshallah, we want to visit the, the life just to say little, just to visit the life of Prophet. Uh, Salih alayhi salatu was salam. Prophet Salih. The next prophet was Prophet Salih alayhi salatu was salam. You know, we told ourselves in the last, uh, in the previous tafsir, that Prophet Hud alayhi salatu was salam was sent to the people of Ad. Ad. Prophet uh, Hood was sent to the people of Had. So as the Prophet Hood was sent to the people of Had, so the same thing, the same way uh, the Prophet, uh, uh, Prophet Sali alayhi salatu was salam was sent to the people of Thamud. So the people of Thamud, they, we used to call it uh, uh, the people of Had, Had al we used to say the people of Samdawa. So, Prophet Sali alayhi salatu was salam was sent to the people of Samdawa, Samud alayhi salatu was salam. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala discussed about him, about his life and his people in the Quran Karim. We want to look at Kisratu Sayyidina Sali alayhi salatu was salam ma kawmihi. Ma kawmihi, what is challenge? What was the great, the greatest challenge that the Prophet Sali faced through his people? Alayhi salatu wa salam. Then we also talk about the Mu'jisa to Sali, the miracle. What was the greatest miracle performed by Prophet Sali, alayhi salatu wa salam, just to guide uh, his people? Prophet Sali, alayhi salatu wa salam. We also talk about, want to talk about Hilaku Kaumu Salih. Three major things. Challenges 
that the prophet Solomon faced through his people as number one. Then we want to talk about the Mojisa. Mojisa, the miracle that prophet Solomon performed in his life. Then we also want to talk about Elab, how Allah destroyed the people of, uh, of Soli, alayhi salatu wasalam, what led to their destruction. So let's go to Al-Quran and Karim. Let's see what Quran says about the Prophet Soli, alayhi salatu wasalam. We have so many places where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala discusses about so, uh, uh, Prophet Soli, alayhi salatu wasalam. When we look at Surah al shara that is Quran 26, verse 141, 141, 142, to 146, we see where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala discourse about Prophet Soli alayhi salatu wa salam. Ba'da'udhu billahi mina shaitani rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Iz kala lahu akhuhu salihu alla tattakun. Alla tattakun. Inni lakum rasulun ameen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah is referring to the people of Samud because he has said it a verse before that Allah said Kazabadi Samudun Moriselin in the call Allah Akun Saleh Allah Tatakun Allah said that the people of Samudawa, the people of Samun, they denied they are messengers. They denied the messengers who were sent to them. And as they denied the messengers that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to them, they also denied the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Salatu Wasalam. Allah <laughs> 
These people of Samudawa, they disobey, they disobey the messengers of Allah before Prophet Sully. When the Prophet Sully came, that is why Allah said, Muri Selina. It means that they deny the people, the messengers of Allah before Prophet Sully. Together with Prophet Sully, who? When the Prophet Sully now realized that they denied the messengers of Allah before him, he the call Messengership of Hood extended. It extended to the people of Semdawa. Not even only him, a lot of prophets of Allah came before him and delivered the message of Allah to them. Allah now said, Okay, so I'll come and continue. <laughs> Allah, Allah, they were all repeating the same thing. Just only Allah, they fear Allah. Allah. And the reward of Allah worship only Allah. Remember that Prophet Noah, alayhi salatu wa salam, as the first messenger of Allah. He said, Anibudullah wa taqu wa atihu. Noah. So Allah is repeating the same, the same thing. That Noah told his people that worship Allah. This is from all these idols we are worshipping. The same thing. Even because of that, no who face a lot of challenges. Then, who also came? Alayhi salatu wa salam. He did the same thing. He warned them. Fear Allah. Worship Allah. I am a trustworthy messenger, a trustworthy messenger of Allah to you. Into them. Remember, in order to know, know the animal Allah. The same thing Allah says that. So did not say what you call Allah and worship and follow Allah, obey Allah. So you said it too. He said to them, Wama Azaluko. I'm not asking you for reward. I don't ask for any reward. I don't want you to pay me back in return. I don't want anything from you to pay me back. I'm not expecting any reward from you. Yeah, yeah. Reward is in hands of Allah. I'm only expecting reward from Allah, the Lord, the Lord of the universe. So, I don't know. So 
Nabi alayhi salatu was salam was telling them would you leave all these idol worship idols you are worshiping so He was calling them to monotheism. That prophet, prophet Nuh, Salih, alayhi salatu wa salam. Salih, huwa ahdu anbiya illa, alladhi ursila lidda'awati ila tawheed illa wa ibadatihi. Allah sent him to his people just to call them to monotheism. Believing in oneness of what? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prophet Sali wa alayhi salatu wa salam. We have a lot to talk about him. We are just uh, starting it today. As you said earlier, how the Prophet Nuh alayhi salatu wa salam faced challenge through his people. Through his people. Just because of Allah sent him to them, to call them to the monotheism, to believe in oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and they requested for a miracle. When we talk about the miracle, the real miracle, miracle, when we get to that miracle, we'll explain it better. Miracle is not the way we think it is today. You see a lot of people performing miracles. Nowadays, performing miracle. Most of them are not real miracle. All the prophets of Allah, they don't just perform miracle just like that. In the, in the first place, they, they don't even like to perform miracle. Because performing miracle is like you are requesting for something good that you keep with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you want Allah to take from out of that maybe as a worshiper, as a man of God, you ask Allah to take from that your, your position, your post, to perform something. So miracle is not something that we just perform, the way people are performing it. Some people will just, you know, they do the answer how to perform the miracle. Even all the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to obasu mwa kagiri, we perform miracle. So, so miracle is not something that we announce to people. We tell the people that, hey, people come tomorrow. We want to perform miracle tomorrow. No, no, no. They, they don't prepare for miracle. If it is real miracle, they don't prepare for miracle. It's not something you prepare for. That uh, so come, for, come and see pray miracle tomorrow. We want to perform miracle tomorrow. No. You don't need to announce it. It's something that will come unannounced, unprepared. Look at all the prophets of Allah. When we get to uh, Prophet Soli, alayhi salatu wa salam, we see it. How he performed miracle. Miracle is performed when, some, when people request for it. Even though for a prophet of Allah to perform miracle, it will take them, will take them time they, to perform for miracle. How? They will seek for Allah permission. For you to know that miracle is not something we perform just like that. Though. They will seek for Allah's permission. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when his people requested for a miracle for him, he asked to ask Allah. He seek for Allah's permission that can I go ahead to do it? Allah said, okay, go ahead. The same thing. I'm going to all the prophets of Allah, messengers of, of, of Allah who perform the miracle. Atta Saleh. Even this Prophet Saleh, when we get there, we know better. Prophet Saleh, alayhi salatu wa salam, when his people requested for a miracle for him, he went on the, on the prayer. He went to Allah, prayed, requesting, Oh Allah, they requested me to perform miracle. How do I go about it? Can I go ahead? He asked Allah, Allah said, oh, Go ahead. So, not all the fake miracles that people are performing nowadays, they will know, they will plan for it. If they don't plan for it, either to go through devil something to perform miracle. Miracle is of three ways. 
is of three ways to perform miracle. Either the real miracle from God. And if it is real miracle from God, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you don't plan it. You don't plan for it. You don't prepare for it. You don't call people to come and witness it. You don't invite people that you want to perform. You don't tell people that you want to perform miracles as also time. It will just come suddenly. If it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you must give for permission. Another way of performing miracle, either from devil way. There be people that will see for devil. They will see for one power to perform miracle. People will think that it's a miracle, someone is performing miracle. That's another way. The third one is whether uh, uh, that's the way they call it. Whether they, they, they do the rehearsal. You know, they, they will call people, this is how you, you demonstrate. This is how you do. So when you do like this, we do like this. These are the three ways that miracle occurs in this our life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us and answer our prayer. May Allah hawla wa la quwata illa billah. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد ان لا اله الا انت نستغفرك ونتوب اليك سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون سلام زين ولم ذل ابرامي ان شاء الله when next we meet we we explain better how professor Lee perform miracle how he uh, also deal with his people how his people were destroyed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته